Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will be learning about Thomson's Atom Model. We already know that according to Dalton's Atomic Theory, atoms are the smallest particle out of which all matter in this universe is made up of. And also we know that atoms are indivisible as well as indestructible. In the sense, we cannot have a particle which is smaller than an atom or we cannot break an atom into particles that are further smaller than an atom. But eventually this theory led to a failure because of the discovery of subatomic particles which are electrons and protons. The subatomic particle that is electron is discovered by a British physicist named J.J. Thomson who was awarded with a Nobel Prize in the year 1906 for his discovery of the electron. Now with the discovery of these subatomic particles, the important question that was hovering around the minds of the people was that how are these subatomic particles arranged in an atom? So most of the people started working to find an answer for this question and then propose a model about it. And among those people, J.J. Thomson was the first person to propose a model for the structure of an atom. So let us see how he visualized the atom to be. He visualized the atom to be something looking like this where we have a spherical body which, is, which has positive charge fully distributed or uniformly distributed throughout and the electrons that is negatively charged are simply studded on its body. We can visualize this atomic structure by comparing it with a spherical Christmas pudding where the spherical body of the Christmas pudding can be visualized as the positively charged sphere and the uh, dry fruits that are there in the body of the pudding can be thought of as the negatively charged particles. Similarly, we can also visualize this atomic structure by comparing it with a watermelon piece where the red edible part of the watermelon can be thought of as the positively charged sphere whereas the seeds in the body of the watermelon can be thought of as the negatively charged electrons. So now let us look at the postulates that he has given. Firstly, he said that an atom consists of a positively charged sphere where the negatively charged electrons are simply embedded. And again, he said that the negative and the positive charges in an atom, that is their magnitudes are exactly equal to each other. Which, re which results in the nullification of their charges. That is, the positive charge and the negative charge exactly cancel out each other to leave a neutral atom to us, which is electrically neutral. Now, this Thomson's model was very successful in explaining the neutrality of an atom. But there were many other scientists who were also working in this field. But their experiments and their results of their experiments was, was something different from that of Thomson. Those results could not be explained on the basis of Thomson's atomic theory. So this was a kind of drawback of Thomson's atomic model which eventually led to its failure. I hope you all had fun learning this lesson. Thank you.